Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And again, doing a little bit of catch-up work. We're taking a look at from the Transformers Legacy Evolution. I believe this is like Wave 3 core class. This is Nemesis Prime and Thundercracker. So Nemesis Prime is a repaint of the Optimus Prime mold, which we just looked at with that core set. And this was the way they introduced the axe. And Thundercracker is just a repaint of the previously released Starscream and Skywarp core class molds, thus finishing off your Seeker Trio. Um, got these from the commandstore.com, but by this point they're available in store and online at all uh, toy retailers and at Amazon.com. Um, so, with that all being said, we'll pause and come back and take a closer look at Nemesis Prime. Okay, so as I said, Nemesis Prime is just a black repaint with uh, of the core Optimus Prime mold, which we literally just took a relook at with the um, that deluxe set with Bumblebee. And it's interesting, you know, going back now and looking at these, I can tell you that the legs were a little extra loose and just, I think because of the black covering things up, it was a little more difficult to peg the legs in and such. But as you can see, the back stores right here in the back. And let me just go ahead, since I have that figure handy, you know, here is the pitch plate for that set. And you can clearly see that, you know, it is designed to go together. And of course you can still, um, You know, use the uh, uh, you know weapons and stuff. And as I'm trying to figure out how to like hook this back in and get it lined up, he was huh, one little thing. But you have that, and a, and a little bonus. Uh, oh, I just knocked that over. My bad. You know, because there's like the little grooves in the act and I'm trying to like line them up. Of course, you know, doing this uh, off camera, uh, on camera is a little trickier. And something that's a little bit of a bonus I forgot to mention in that core video, even with this hitch attached, I'm pretty sure, oh no, uh, I thought you would be able to store the... Uh, ion blaster with that hitch attached but it actually resets offsets the uh pull but as you can see if you want to use the trailer with nemesis prime that's fine or if they want to go ahead and you know give you a whole new nemesis prime um uh, with the trailer they can do that so since we've already seen this transformation a few times let's just pause and we'll go from this to this. And as you can see, again, black repaint. We've seen it before. Uh, you know, how about we just go ahead and I'll bring in the uh, Optimus Prime from that uh, set we just looked at. And, you know, uh, like I said, overall, the, the Optimus Prime, tight figure, tight joints. Nemesis, the legs were just a little loose, but not as bad as that original release. Uh, in terms of, you know, stuff locking together, I'd say they're about even. Just got to get things lined up. Really, uh, I mean, between these two releases, there's nothing different because, you know, this was, you know, this was the axe. This comes with the axe. Uh, it's, it's just a shame that, you know, this version doesn't come with the Ion Blaster, too, but I can kind of understand why not and stuff like that. So you do see the different colors. Now, of course, I don't know if, you know, this is still a considered a Nemesis Prime Black Convoy. I know there's different shades and stuff, but. You know, it is what it is. So now let's pause and we'll take a look at scores.
Um, I believe I just said Scourge, and if I did, forgive me because I was thinking, you know, Nemesis Prime, Black Convoy, you know, car robots, robots in disguise. But this is obviously Thundercracker. Funny enough, the one that in Transformers the movie I fully believe became Scourge. You know, he was the weaker, we the weakest of the Seekers. Uh, in terms of personality and commitment, and that really kind of felt be, fell in more with the personality of uh, who Scourge became. But it is based on that um, one of the modern style of jets. This isn't the the classic core Seeker look. Um, by this point, we've actually had the Seekers done in the Legend scale which were a little bit closer to the original G1 design, and had the null rays built in, even though some of the releases actually came with additional null rays, that, funny enough, couldn't peg into the shoulders, but had to be handheld. Um, we got another Legends class that was based on an uh, early IDW design. Those I really like, especially the Thundercracker. That Thundercracker, I think it was released under Titan's Return, came in in a nice metallic blue there was a little sparkle to it that's really one of my favorite looks in terms of uh the seekers and now we have th these guys and i just want to point out as you can see thundercracker has the null race which means sky warp is the outlier does not come with the null race now i had mentioned in my review of, of the optimus prime bumblebee set what they could do for the decepticons and obviously since they don't have the trailer why not do uh, Megatron, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, G1 colors, and all three of the Seekers have the Null Rays? Yes, I know a lot of people would complain about that because it would be the only way to get official Null Rays for Skywarp. But I'll be honest, this the blue they're using here, which is, has a little bit of more of a sea foam to it, um, in person it's coming off a little more greenish blue. It just doesn't like work for me, unfortunately. So yeah, um, there is that. So I, I wouldn't mind seeing this done in uh, the G1 colors. So now, um, we'll pause. We'll, t we'll again skip the transformation and just go from this to this. And well, it's star scream in blue or bluish green. Um, if you've seen it once, you've seen it before. Unfortunately, I don't have the original Kingdom Star Scream handy right now. Could have grabbed it when I was thinking about it, but unfortunately I didn't. And let's be honest, we really need it. You know what that looks like. You can see what this is. It's the exact same mold. Same head and everything. You know, looks good. Um, but like I said, I, I would have preferred maybe like a different shade of blue but um yeah i mean it, it's nice and, and one thing i do want to mention everything is nice and tight on this release i don't think i've ever had a problem with this iteration of the seekers but just to point it out it is a very nice and tight mold the only issue i kind of had was going into the jet mode and pegging the uh chest into the legs I mean, if you, you know the transformation. Uh, the, the section with the uh, canopy kind of was a little fiddly to uh, get in, but I, I did eventually get it. I don't think I was bending it far enough. So really, that's about it. How about we pause, and we'll come back with my final thoughts. There's really not much more that I can say about uh, these figures that I haven't already said. Um, you know, we've seen all their ver other versions, and really, it's basically, if you're going to, you know, go for them, you'll go for them. I know in the case of uh, Thundercracker, obviously, if you're a Seeker completionist, you're go you've are you already bought the figure. Nemesis Prime, it was fun to have the axe, and it was kind of interesting that when the figure was announced and released, uh, at the time, we didn't know... That, that big deluxe set was coming. We did know that there was a possibility of an Optimus Prime release with the axe because we saw it in a leaked photo for another figure. The guy just happened to have that Prime on the table 
but we didn't know it was going to be that larger set. Um, so really, if you were just looking to get the Energon Axe, I, I think getting that other set with the trailer is a better option because you have a nicer looking Optimus Prime, you have a bunch of accessories, and I think it's just a, a more fun package. Although if you're looking for like a bad guy to boy bolster the ranks, this is Prime isn't that bad. It's just, you know, with the other Decepticon releases in that core class line, um, I don't really see how Nemesis Prime would fit, seeing as how um, there was never really a Nemesis Prime in the classic G1 story. But in terms of the, the actual nuts and bolt, bolts technical aspects of the figure, both are solid releases. Mine are tight. There's, I had no problem transforming them. I had no problem posing them. Um, they're just, you know, by this point, uh, with Prime, it was a second-generation repaint, and Thundercracker is a third-generation repaint. So, there's that. And again, you're paying full price for them. So, decision is ultimately up to you. That's about it for the review. If you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe. As I always say, I do appreciate the views. The likes, comments, and subscriptions help to communicate to YouTube through the algorithm that my channel should be exalted and held upon high want to make the ultimate sign of support i do have a patreon it is www.patreon.com slash chuck 1999 all i ask for is a dollar a month twelve dollars a year no thrills no tears no special rewards all you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like this to you as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the channel but as i always say if you can't swing the dollar a month twelve dollars a year your views are more than thanks enough and speaking of the views, one thing I want to add is uh, a lot of sites don't necessarily feature um, reviews. And if you don't see my reviews being featured on your preferred site, ask, share them around, you know, submit them as news to your site, especially if they tend to favor guys like Prime vs. Prime and those early reviewers. You really can help um, uh, smaller channels like myself. And, it, you know, and it does really help in terms of like the view count and getting my numbers out there. So really just, you know, send an email, make a little uh, inter, inter bulletin board uh, message to the new staff of your preferred site and say, hey, here's a review I think you should feature, you know, and uh, don't be bashful, don't be shy. You know, I live in the United States of America we have freedom of speech. We can ask questions, we can question things, and we can make requests. Uh, most, you, you know, and there's that. I don't want to go on a tirade, but so once again, thank you so much for watching. This is your old pal Chuck for Nemesis Prime and Thundercracker, making them look way closer as buddy buddy than they should be. We will see you next time.